Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your regularly scheduled winter. It is back to 29 degrees, and there's a light snow coming down. Man, yesterday was nice, though. Mid to upper 50s for a day, and the sun came out. It was a little windy, but we'll definitely take that. It's nice to have every once in a while. In fact, I talked to, um, I was just talking to someone I was sitting in the stands uh, at Aquaman's swim meet yesterday, and they had moved up to this area from Chelsea, and you know he was talking about how, you know, he's like, we're not southern people. We, you know, we like the change in weather. We just don't want one thing all the time. And I said, yeah, you know, I like the four seasons. Um, by the time winter is over, I'm ready for it to be over, and I'm ready for spring. But you know, I like it. I'm not gonna, you know, be upset with it. So let's enjoy this winter weather or getting more back to winter weather and let's head out and milk. Remember how I said we were cleaning up the barn and getting the lumber out of the way because there had been a pile of lumber right along here? Well, now there's a pile of lumber here. I don't know if you can see the markings on it, but Aquaman has been wanting a loft. So, uh, we've been really busy, but he's really anxious. So I told him if he wanted to come out and mark some, some wood, we could go ahead and start trying to get a, lo a loft built for him. So we kind of designed it last night. He marked the wood and then hopefully we'll be able to get within the next couple of weeks get it built. It's we, we're really busy right now. Good morning, Prudence. Are you ready for your milking? Where's Red? He must be in the shed. Let's go see. Anybody looking for a little Red update? He's doing well. He's right there. Uh, he lets me kind of pet him and rub him and hold his neck and I think I'm gonna put a, um, a necklace on him soon just so that if I need to tie him up I can um, but yeah he's doing good I need to get milking because Prudence is gonna finish her grain before I even start slow down you're eating too fast hey come on slow down thank you take a breath So for those of you guys, whoa, I almost just bit it. See right here, it gets slippery and muddy. So I have to be really careful right there. Um, so for those of you guys who've watched the channel for a while, you know that the chickens sit underneath her when she's eating, and now they sit underneath uh, Little Red when he's eating too. Uh, the reason is cows are kind of uh, sloppy eaters. They put their head in the bucket and get food, and then when they come out, they blah, blah. Yeah, and a lot of it comes out. So chickens are smart. They know that they're gonna get a free meal of, you know, not pellets. This is, you know, actual grains and stuff. So they'll just wait for it. And all of the stuff that's on the ground is gone before the next bite is even taken. So nothing gets wasted on the homestead. One other thing I wanted to show you. I don't know if you see my boots here. That's a mixture of mud and wood chips and cow poop and chicken poop. Um, so that is why, along with milking clothes, so you guys know I changed from house clothes into milking clothes and then back before I go inside. Well, sometimes uh, I forget to change my boots before I come out and milk. Um, so I'll change into my milking clothes, but then I'll leave my house boots on and they can get to be a little bit of a mess and stuff dries on them. And, and I wear those, like if it's, you know, snowy and wet out, I'll wear those 
to my parents' house or to basketball practice or whatever. I'm not really even thinking about it. And then I like get there and I'm like, these look a little bit nasty. So I gotta kinda, I cleaned those off the other day, but I gotta do a better job of making sure I remember to change into my, my milking boots, my tour boots. So if you guys could remind me, that would be awesome. Thanks. So I kind of feel bad for the pigs. Like I keep on throwing wood chips in here and wood chips in here and wood chips in here, but it's been so wet that it just is still a muddy mess. At least they've got a dry spot in there and their other hut. So it is what it is. As soon as it freezes up, everything will be good. I forgot to rinse these guys off. 